Hello, my wonderful friends. It is time once more for stories of... I was going to say the neckbeard variety, but I don't know that this is a neckbeard story. In fact, I don't think it is. We got really into that. Anyway, this is a story from Reddit user not certain anymore. I like your name. This is called When the Popular Girls Decide to Play Matchmaker for the Nerds. What? Hello again. Hi. I recently commented on a post with a summarized version of this story, and it got a lot of attention, so I decided to give you guys the full story. Cool. It was in middle school, and I was your typical weird, nerdy outcast. It was okay, since I was in a friend group, but I still had to deal with your typical middle school bullshit. In 8th grade, we were given the opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. for a trip. I was excited, so I jumped on the chance to go. And for the most part, it was pretty great. During the trip, I started chatting with this boy we'll call Darren. Darren looked like a stereotypical geek. Pretty scrawny, acne, glasses, you know. I always saw him floating around in school, but I never really talked to him much. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, but he wasn't really a neckbeard or a nice guy or anything like that. Well, as we've always said on this channel, it's not the outward appearance that defines the nice guy or the neckbeard. It's the fedora, not the fedora. He was actually a pretty cool dude, and I enjoyed talking to him, and we really started connecting on this trip. At some point, I'd started developing feelings for him in that awkward puppy love kind of way you do in middle school. We'd pair up often, and he hinted that he felt the same. And everything changed when the popular girls attacked. Now, I barely acknowledged these girls before this trip because they're in a different group and they never really bothered me before. They wore branded clothes, always had their makeup done, clearly watched too many rom-coms, that kind of thing. Once they caught on that Darren and I were flirting with each other, they pounced. They came right up to us and started squealing about, OMG, nerd love! Really? They made a huge deal about us being together and even started demanding that we kiss right in front of them. Wow, that's creepy. That's ten kinds of creepy. I'm not kidding. They were actually pushing hard for us to make out in front of them for some reason. And we're in public. Obviously, Darren and I are not okay with this and simply try to just avoid them from then on. We even talked about sneaking away at one point to get some privacy and... We'd then maybe have our first kiss, but these girls were relentless in their mission to get us together all Little Mermaid style. It was very embarrassing to deal with. Yeah, I bet. After the trip, I started avoiding Darren at school. I know it was shitty for me to ghost him like that. We were clearly clicking, and I was hinting that I wanted to date him, but I just couldn't do it. At that time, there was another group of girls who were targeting me to the point of following me to my bus just to harass me. Wow, what a bunch of fucking assholes. The last thing I needed was a bunch of girls gushing and squeeing about our adorable nerd love, fueling even more harassment. Ah, oh, jeez. On the last 8th grade dance, Darren spotted me dancing with another guy and just told me right then and there that he was heartbroken before disappearing into the crowd. Honestly, I don't blame him. He had every right to feel that way. I felt awful doing that back then, and I feel awful about it now. Darren, if you happen to find this post or hear this story, it wasn't your fault, and I'm really sorry. I hope you found a gorgeous bombshell with a sweet personality who will support you in anything you do. You deserve it, man. So yeah, fuck middle school. Whew. Like, wow, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, that's, oh, I can't even begin to imagine how weird and creepy that is to have people just follow you around demanding that you and your significant other or even just a person you're kind of dating. She's like, oh my god, you guys should make out. You should let us watch. It's like, what the fuck? Look, not for nothing, but I'm pretty sure people online pay for that kind of thing, all right? It's called voyeurism class. Yeah, that's not a thing you just do for strangers to look at. That's 
So fucking creepy. Like, okay, so earlier in this, you'd said something about him not being a neckbeard, but I will be completely honest with you. Those girls and their insistence upon watching your romantic interactions with, like, a weird microscope because it's OMG so kawaii. Uh, yeah, that gives off the fedora in, like, a big way. That's super creepy. Like, what the fuck, man? Why would you do that? Ugh. Dude, teenagers are fucking weird. And if you're a teenager listening to this right now, I'm sorry, but it's true. Don't worry, you'll grow out of it. I did. Okay, I didn't, but, you know, other people did. Don't use me as an example. I'm a terrible role model. Look what I do for a living. But, <laughs> seriously, though, uh, yeah, that is, like, fucking weird. And I can totally, you know, I understand why you got to a point where it was like, yeah, being around Darren was weird because of the constant implications of what those creeps did. And as an adult, you know, we got to a point, as adults do, to just be like, well, fuck them. They don't, you know, whatever, they're creeps. But when you're like a kid, you don't really know any better. So you just think that, yeah, if I'm ever with this person, this shit's going to keep happening and I don't know how to tell these people to fuck off. So, I can understand it. And, it, yes, I agree with you. It is kind of a shitty thing to kind of ghost him and stuff. But, again, being, you know, a teenager, we don't exactly make the best decisions. That's, that's part of being a teenager. And, again, if you're a teenager listening to this, that's also true. Uh, sorry. I know. You can leave me all the hate comments you want, but it's still true. It's, it's kind of a thing. Don't worry. You'll grow up and make better decisions. You know, unless you're me then you make decisions like this. But, yeah, I, I totally feel where you're coming from, and, God, that's just... Uh, just thinking about it makes me uncomfortable. It'd be like literally like going to like a convention or something, and someone recognizing myself and Sango and being like, oh my god, you guys should make out so we can take pictures. Like, no! What the fuck? No! That's so weird! Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Uh, I hate that kind of shit. And uh, I have no idea what motivated them to do that. That's the weirdest part about the whole story. It's like, what would be the motivation for that? Why would, you know... Like, why? Just all of the why. All of my why I have to ask for this. That sentence wasn't actually structured well. It just kind of happened. Sorry about that. You know, it happens. But... Yeah, I've said but like four times in this. I'm going to say it a couple more times. That's, you know, that's where I am right now. This is just... Mm, it's awkward. Middle school in general is just awkward. I remember it. I wish I didn't. That's why I drink. I'm kidding. That's I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> it's, no. Uh, but yes, I, I totally do understand where you're coming from. And that is really strange. Like... Did they really think that this was like a... I don't even know why I'm asking this, because you clearly said you don't know, but I guess I'm just hypothesizing to myself. But did they clearly... Clearly? Did they really think that, like, this would just be a thing you're okay with? To be like a... Like a fucking zoo exhibit? To just be observed by a bunch of squeeing weirdos who want to watch OMG Nerd Love? Like, dude, that's so fucking weird. That is super fucking weird. Also, I doubt that a lot of people will wind up in a similar situation because I don't think people really do that kind of stuff anymore. Or at least I hope they don't. Or at least I hope this was an isolated incident. But if forever you are, uh, here's my advice. If ever you are and you are in a position like that and if you tell them no and they don't go away and they're just like, OMG, but I have to see this. And like, all right, 200 bucks. <laughs> 100 for each of us, you know? Hey man, if you're gonna if you're gonna watch this, uh, if you're gonna get off to this shit, I expect to get paid. Okay, that's just how you know that's that's how this world works. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. So you know, <laughs> fork up the cash, baby. Uh, <laughs> usually that'll sell people to fuck off. Once you hit them in the wallet, they tend to learn very quickly. But with all this weird rambling nonsense aside, I'd like to thank you all for being here. Um, it's a wonderful thing. 
It truly is. I hope you enjoy this interesting story and the weird nonsense that came after it. That's me. And if you have your own story you'd like to send me, you can send it to r slash moonhorse stories. I check it every day, so I'll see it there. I tend to see things there more than I see anywhere else. If you would like to purchase t-shirts, buttons, we even sell masks now. Uh, they're all in the merch shop. That That's true, I actually do sell masks. Like, protective wear anywhere masks. It's real. I have those. Because, I don't know. I, I saw an option to do it, so I said sure. <laughs> that's pretty much how I run my merch store. <laughs> if it's there, it probably has my picture on it somewhere. I don't fucking know. I just thought it would be really cool. So, whatever. And, yeah, if you would please do the YouTube thing of the like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And there's a there's a bell, I think. I don't know if the bell's still there. They might have removed that. I don't pay attention to what YouTube does most of the time. It's confusing, and it's like a full-time job just to read their newsletters. And they don't pay me enough to do that, so I'm not gonna. Anyway, thanks for being here. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, goodbye!